web development using chat gpt and ruby on rails course in the last lecture we consumed the rails api to fetch all the employees data within the react application and we created the react application from scratch and we learned about the xjs module and i hope after trying that lecture you tried it at your own site okay now in this lecture what we will see that here you can see in the rails part that the table looks pretty here okay like it's the bootstrap styled page and bootstrap style forms and table but in the react part you can see that we do not have this bootstrap styled table we are just seeing the plain html table here okay so what we will do in this lecture that we will ask chat gpt that how i can install uh, bootstrap 5 into my react application okay so just go to the chat gpt prompt okay and here what you need to do how can i install bootstrap 5 into my react application okay so when you ask this question to the chat gpt chat gpt will give you steps for downloading or adding the bootstrap into your react application either using uh, yarn or npm so whatever uh, approach suits to you you can choose that one but i am going here with the yarn because i am using yarn in my system so i will use this command yarn at bootstrap at the right next okay so just copy this command and come to the terminal and here you can see that this is the terminal where the react app is running okay and now what you need to do you just need to press this command here okay and then you will see that as soon as you press enter after pasting this command that it allows you to choose a version of bootstrap from the list given below so there are multiple versions of bootstrap and whatever version you want to choose from 3.4.1 to 5.3.3 you can select that version okay so i will go with the latest version so i will use 5.3.3 and if you can you want to use different version then you can use your arrow key up and down arrow keys to select the version for example let's say if i want to use 5.3.2 i will use the down arrow keys and like just like that okay and if i want to use uh, the 5.3.3 then i will use this uh, 5.3.3 version okay so i will just use this one and press the enter so now it will install bootstrap 5.3 3.3 into my react application okay and now let's go to the chat gpt screen and here you can see that after adding the bootstrap to your react project what you need to do as the next thing that you need to import the bootstrap css files into your project okay and you can do this in your entry point of your application whether it is the index.js or app.js but we will do this within the index.js and index.js is the place where we can maintain uh, we can manage the global resources for our react application okay so just copy this code okay and then what you need to do go to your index.js i mean go to your uh, project directory of react project and then open the index.js and here you just need to paste this line okay and then you need to save it and then go for the other information for example like if you want to use bootstrap component separately then this is how you can use like if you want to use bootstrap button then you can use import button from bootstrap okay and in whatever component you want to use that okay so you can do that okay and if you want to use uh, bootstrap javascript component okay then you can use popper.js jquery jquery min.js popper.js but jquery is only required up to bootstrap bootstrap 4 okay so in bootstrap 5 you don't need to require J jquery into your project okay but popper is required so if you want to use javascript component then you can use that but i will do it later when we come to the uh, javascript components of the bootstrap like uh, drop down toggle buttons and so on and pop over and so on okay for now i'm just using i'm just uh, trying to use the bootstrap css styles here okay and now since we saved the index.js so let's come to the page where react type is running okay and here you can see that the bootstrap style has been added to the page you can see that our font family has been changed okay now what we will do that we will use the bootstrap table class into our employees component employee list component here you can see that we have this employee list dot jsx component and here you can see that we have just table t head like a plain html table okay so what we can do here 
that we can add the classes here. Let's say for example, class name and then table, table bordered. Okay, just save it. And when you save this table class, you can go to the page and here you can see that the table has been applied to, uh, sorry, the borders has been applied to your employees table on the browser. So this is how you can add these uh, bootstrap style. But here one thing to note, and I will explain this into the next lecture that here you can see that in HTML, we use class attribute okay but in react we need to use the class name attribute for example let me show you in the rails project that this is our rails project and now if you go to the views directory and open the index.html.trb of uh, uh, employees okay and here you can see that what we use for here that table and then class okay just and then bootstrap table classes but in the react part what we did we just used uh, the class name okay so this is the difference of using class attributes within the react and html and we will go uh, into the details of this in the next lecture okay but for now what was our purpose that we just want to add the bootstrap into our react application and we want to style our employee table with some bootstrap classes oh sorry bootstrap table classes okay so that's all from this lecture now in the next lecture we will understand the difference between the html class and class name attribute of the react okay so try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe